Alright, so we're starting on our first real print. Let me see, it looks like it's kind of close. All I did was change filaments. And it looks like we're too close to the hot bed. or anything. It's kind of unusual. These are going to be the, the anti-wobble for the z-axis. They have the bearings in them that hold it up. Now I do see a difference. The other print started at 0.3. This one started at 0.2. Hmm. You might have to lift it up with my my settings. I mean, think of that, they're a tenth of a millimeter closer than what they had on the memory card for the test print. I'm not going to mess with it just now because it's actually a really small, quick build. It should be jumping up to the second level pretty fast. Let's see what that looks like. So it should be pretty good then. Thirty two percent in. Now we're at point three five. And this is about where they had their print set up. So well, this one should be good. Probably don't need to do my skirts anymore like I did on my Delta. I just kind of got used to it, didn't think about it, and threw a skirt on here. I mean, I guess it's not a bad idea if you need to adjust your filaments. Hmm. I will say this though the retraction speed on here is much, much faster than it is on my Delta. You can also hear it buzzing a little bit more and a little bit moving quicker. I have it at 60 millimeters per second. So I'm not quite sure. Theirs must have been at like 20. I mean, it was dead slow. It's supposed to be able to run at 100 millimeters per second. But I only went to 60 just to see. Plus, I want these to be pretty good parts. I don't want any issues with these. These are going to be holding. The, uh, the rods in the back for the Z motors, keeping those stable. Now I'm building both at the same time. They got your little U clamps on the front of them. I figure I got this big ass bed and build more than one part at a time. Other than I need to adjust my settings, so I'm not starting at 0.2 off the bed because I have it set for 0.3 because I did it off their test print. Move you over so you can see that. Now it's doing steady print. Hold on a second. See if we get to where it's moving around again. There you go. See it bouncing around over there. And I'm not even running it at full speed or even, I'm not even pushing it yet. So I don't know the printer. <laughs> That filament spool is wobbling. There it goes. The rest of the bed seems good. I'm hoping that that don't create any uh, layer shifts. I mean, that's a full kilometer kilogram of filament. Hmm. 
think this is the last one, but... Well, that's the last one. It's homing X. Good. Homing Y. Good. Took an hour and 54 minutes. It says printing is done. Look! <laughs> and extruder is down or set to zero. The hotbed is set to zero. It's not there yet, but it's cooling itself off. At home the X, at home the Y. I'm going to let that cool off. It should only take like five minutes or so, and then we'll take a look at those parts. Bring this over to us. This should just pop right off. Or, oop, that one did. Tell you what, they're not just popping right off, but they're nowhere near what they would be like on my other printer. Oh, it came out pretty good, actually. Put on the skirt. Definitely need to uh, either adjust my Z offset or my settings in Cura. Now they say just clean that off with soap and water. You don't want to be digging on this with a knife or a scraper or anything. But yeah, let's get that cleaned off. So taking a look at the part. Uh, let me see if I can get you to focus. There we go. I got a little closer to go zoom in. Or maybe not. My camera kind of sucks with this light. One little string there. I just came right off. But anyway, that thing is glass smooth. I know my camera sucks here, but I don't feel any lines. I know it's hard to see. I mean, all the way around and even the bottom. It's like glass smooth. The holes all printed out pretty much perfect. Try and get rain to see them all. And again, it's pretty much glass smooth, all the edges. No layer shifts, no uh, no artifacts, no dimples. Fucking a, dude. They print it pretty damn nice. And a tight bearing up in there. And I, do, whoop. I do press fit into it. Now, for me, not really doing a whole lot of settings or tweakings. Damn. Those, uh, those came out nice. I mean, shit. I think I had said earlier, made my other video, that this may not be a printer for first time people. 
scratch that. Um, I've done nothing really. Um, the leveling, which is in the instructions, I used the Cura slicer. I didn't use the one that they provided with it because it's an older, outdated, like 1506, 1504. It's from like three years ago. But using uh, Cura 4.0 beta, damn, I'm I'm happy. I throw my parts all over. I'm so happy. The other thing, if I could hold it still. Two different parts. Let me get to zoom in. Come on. There we go. You can kind of see. But they are flat. Okay, even if I stand it up this way, maybe you can see it. I mean, they are flat. No warpage, no artifacts. Uh, I mean, jet. So between the printer and uh, ZYL Tech filament, all I can say is pretty damn good. Uh, Pretty good. I'm I'm happy. Those keep the the Z axis from wobbling. Oop. Remember earlier, this thing was all over. Doesn't even move now. Got to thinking I could have flipped this over so it was up higher, but. Just gonna have to watch my builds if I build anything high. Don't want uh, way down here. It's a long way down. It's a big printer. Don't want this to hit this. Yeah. Just realized that. I don't think I'm gonna be printing anything that big. But that is something definitely to be aware of. That will limit your height. Whoop. If I flipped it over, I'd probably get another 30 millimeters. Yeah, I am going to have to flip them. Flip this over. Well, actually, it won't matter because this would still hit that, wouldn't it? Yeah, so. Never mind, doesn't matter. My Z height is now limited to that much. But I'm not going to build anything quite that big. And if I do, I'll take them off. <laughs> Thank you.